Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Mailbag. Today we're going to talk about this little bad boy right here, the Shimoda Top Loader. Now I'm just going to show you a whole bunch of different ways you can use the top loader to help your photography experience. Now for some of these methods you may need a set of Shimoda accessory straps. The first one we're going to get into right now is to have the top loader mounted on your chest right here. We'll take the accessory straps First thing we want to do is also take the load lifter strap, layer it on top of the webbing and look for one of these two loops and then put the webbing on top, take the gatekeeper portion of the accessory strap, slide it through and just make sure you put it through both pieces of webbing. It's not essential but it just keeps everything cleaner. And then close the gatekeeper do the same thing on the other side and also note that we're using the short end of the accessory strap now you may as well leave the accessory straps connected for this part just so you have the orientation correct and you're going to look for the loops on the back of the top loader at the top uh, located in this spot and then you'll take the end of the accessory strap secure that down do the same on the other side. So now you'll unconnect one of the accessory straps, put the backpack on, take the open side, connect it to the shoulder strap again, and then just kind of bring it to the height that works for you. So next you're gonna take a sternum strap, make sure there's a little slack on it. Look for the rear panel padding uh, you can stick your hand in there and we're going to take the sternum strap and we're going to slide it through to the other side and we're going to close the sternum strap. Again, we'll go back to the side and we'll find the end and just uh, tighten it. Not too tight. So you have a little bit of play but not too much play. And that's going to be your chest mount for quick camera access. Now the next one is one I call side slinger. Personally, I think this is the most comfortable way to carry the top loader, but I understand some people will think it's more complicated than it needs to be, but it is actually quite easy to set up. And again, in my opinion, it's much more comfortable and easy to access the camera. So you're gonna take your shoulder strap, you're gonna unthread it from the ladder lock. Now you wanna place the top loader so it's positioned like this. Look for the D-ring right here on the lower half. Take the webbing, thread it through, and then connect it back to the shoulder strap. Now you can see that was very fast, easy, and quick to do. So connect the accessory strap to the shoulder strap, and then turn the backpack on its side. I'm gonna remove the short end and I'm gonna look for the accessory loop again on the lower half in the rear seam. So I'm gonna connect it just like that. Now I'll put the bag on. With the long end of the accessory strap, I'm gonna give it some slack. I'm gonna search for the short end, connect it and just bring it a bit tighter. Now you just want to make a few adjustments so it fits you right, but then you'll just have very quick access to your camera. When the top loader is positioned on the chest, you tend to have to lift your arm up higher and reach down into it. This is in a much more natural uh, position to grab your camera. Now, of course, you can lower it so it's on more of a flatter angle or you can bring it so it's on a steeper angle. It's really gonna depend on the shape of your body and what fits best for you. All right, for the next setup, I'm gonna show you with this Action X30. Quickly put the pack on. And this is uh, just a simple belt mount. It's very easy to accomplish. Uh, just one thing to note, when you are doing this, you're gonna thread the belt through this rear panel loop right here. So an easier way to do it just to fold the webbing over the belt so that when you tuck it in, it all just comes through nice and easy. Now when you're taking your backpack off with the camera mounted on the belt, there's two things you can do. 
You could take an accessory strap and make sure it's leashed to the belt so it doesn't slide off and drop or just be very mindful that you have it on your belt. I think people who shoot with this frequently are aware of that. So if you're just kind of experimenting with this, don't forget to grab the handle when you undo your belt and you can easily remove it like that. Now the next one's also gonna involve a belt, except this one will be the actual belt you wear with your pants. So we will not use a backpack for this one. So just to quickly show you, I will undo it. I'll thread it through the back. As you can see, it's nicely in position to grab and you don't need a backpack. So again, I think guys uh, shooting events will find a great benefit for shooting like this. You could mount up both sides of the belt and optionally, you could use a more heavy duty belt. So I'll show you how it works with a more heavy duty belt right now. So let's take a Shimoda waist belt from any of our backpacks. They're designed for this specific function. There is Velcro here, and there's also Velcro on the inside of the rear panel. So we can just slide the belt through like this. Now just to save yourself some minor frustration, cover the Velcro with your hand, slide it through until it's center, and rub it down just like this. Now, if you're walking, it's more than comfortable to have it on your backside, somewhat like a fanny pack. And because our belts have this open construction here, you can quickly just grab that like it's a handle, swing the top loader around, and access the camera. Now, you might have a really heavy camera setup in here. Uh, let's just say you had like a 5D with a 70 to 200 uh, 2.8 on there, a little bit heavier than what I'm demonstrating with. You can also add the included shoulder strap, connect it to the D-ring so you have that extra bit of support, giving your waist a little bit of relief. Now along the same lines as that, you can optionally just remove this belt altogether and carry it as you would a normal shoulder bag just with the shoulder strap. A setup like this gives you a little more freedom when you're carrying it. You can quickly get it in and out of the way. Personally, this isn't my favorite way to spend a lot of time with, but if you do pack your top loader inside your bag and you know you're gonna be leaving uh, your backpack in one location and then maybe moving around with just a body and a lens, this is a great setup for a scenario like that. For the next scenario, I am gonna show you with an Explore 25 because the Explore 25 is the perfect width for a top loader. You can see if we just put it inside like that, it sits in there quite nicely. But we're gonna open up the top loader, put it in the pack like this, turn it on its side, open the side access, and you'll notice the, the Trico material right here. And if you crack this open, you'll see there's Velcro. And then we're just gonna take the lid, tuck it in. We're gonna move the lid so we can overlay the Velcro with the Trico. And we're gonna pat it down just like this. Now, we'll close it back up, throw the pack on, and we have the ability to do quick side access from the backpack. Now this is a really nice setup for someone who just wants to carry a body and lens. Of course you have the option to carry more lenses, but uh, for that person with just a body and lens, it really lets the bag act as a normal non-camera bag does. Uh, it's very incognito in my opinion. Uh, a great setup maybe for urban photographers or hikers who want a small pack uh, with small amount of camera gear while trekking through the mountains. Now you can do this with the 30 liter size as well. 30 liters is about two centimeters wider. As long as it's connected to the door like I showed you, uh, it shouldn't move around in the backpack. Now we took a look at the main compartment of the backpack. Uh, let's just see how it fits in the upper compartment. I'm gonna demonstrate with the Explore 30 here. Uh, the 25 liter, it will fit if you squeeze it in there, but uh, it's definitely a better fit in a bigger bag like the 30 liter sizes. 
So let's just open that up. And just, just like most things, when you put it in, you'll kind of want to start with it going perpendicular to the bag and then just kind of hook and turn it so it just slips in there nice and easily. Now you can see that's in there, fits pretty good. Zip it up and you can uh, head off hiking. Now a situation where you'd want it up here is let's just say you had a medium uh, core unit in here. That's full of gear, but you want the option to bring another setup, or maybe it's just a 70 to 200 lens and you want more protection around your gear. Now the last option we have here, not nearly as exciting as any of the previous, just take the handle and hand carry. Now the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is that the top loader is designed for a non-gripped body with a mid-range zoom. So let's just say that's a 16 to 35, uh, 24 to 70, something in that range. Uh, that will fit in here quite nicely. But if you do have a 70 to 200, you can open the extension and that will handle uh, most 70 to 200s and non-gripped bodies. Once again, I hope that helped and we'll see you next time on The Mailbag. Take care.